Okay, hello everybody, welcome back, and this is Paladin. So, Paladin, as is tradition, they got uh, cards that should not have been printed, and they got two of them, and they kind of work together. Carousel Grip, like, I'll, I'll go over the scores, but here, Carousel Griffin here, never should have been printed, and it has Corrupt, and it can be corrupted by Hammer of Naru. Another card that should have never been printed. So, yeah, like as is tradition, Paladin got that. So, I'll go over those. I'm not a rant on them, but I'll go over those. So, the other thing that Paladin got in the set is it got uh, Dude Synergy, which works because Old Gods brings back Stand Against Darkness. So, you got Day at the Fair here, which summons three recruits, Corrupt, summon five. And then you got uh, Steward of Darkshire, which is coming back. You've got Carnival Barker here, which gives them plus one, plus two. You've got Balloon Merchant, which gives them plus one and Divine Shield, which is a battle cry effect, plus two. So those are like the two big things that Paladin has going for it. They got OP stuff, and uh, they have to bear here to like synergize. Uh, they have to bear like massive dude synergy. And that will, so anyway, going over to cards, they'll go over how good these cards are together. All right, first one, uh, Red Scale Dragon Tamer. Uh, two mana, two, three, draw a card. This is obviously a really powerful card if you draw a card. But you have, sorry, draw a dragon. The problem is, is the center dragons rotated out. So there aren't there aren't really that many dragons left. I mean, there's still dragons. You're still going to get Sky Stalker. You're still going to get Mage Scred. So obviously, if you have dragons, this is really good. But, okay, so yeah, overall, I would say low three-star card. Because sometimes it will work, but I think it, there's a good chance it doesn't work. Uh, snack Run. Discover spell, restore cost equal to your hero, equal to its cost. That's the same thing as the uh, One Night in Karazhan Knight. I'm just looking. Oh, one of those turkey legs that ate the Silver Hammer crew. I'm just, like, looking at that. Okay, does she actually have a turkey leg in there? Okay, she's got churros. I guess this is the combo box. So I don't see the turkey leg. No, the turkey leg's in the flavor text, but turkey leg is not in the uh, snack run there. All right. Anyway, discover a spell. Problem here is that paladin spells. Paladins have a lot of really, really, really cheap spells, and that was the problem with the uh, n the Karazhan Knight. So restore health equal to its your cost. It's not really enough. Like you want a one mana. If you want to discover something, you want it to be one mana. So restoring health equal to its cost. Eh, I'm not really sold on that one. So I would say this one. It's a two star card. Like maybe a high two star, mid two star card for this. Carnival Barker, when you summon a one health minion, give it plus one, plus two. Uh, Hobgoblin, way, way, way back in the day, was like a really good card. It was a neutral card, which was basically this effect. It was a three mana, two, three. You summon a one health minion, and you buff it. So this is only for Paladins. It still only applies to um, one health minions. And the problem here is that there aren't really that many one health minions in the set. In previous sets, there were a lot of one health minions, but here... Like outside the Og Merchants and the one, uh, and some of the one drops and the dudes, there really isn't. So overall, with Carnival Barker, I think it's only going to end up being like a high two star card. Like I like the card, and obviously this plus uh, Day at the Fair or this plus Stand Against Darkness is insane. But yeah, I'm not really. I don't think there's enough there to justify this, especially with a lot of the stuff. Like there was um. The Wa the Queen, the Wasp Queen or whatever from uh, Saviors of Old, which was the two mana three one that gave you two one two 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 ones. And that would work really well with this if it was still in the set, but it's not, so I don't think Carnival Bark is gonna be that good. So again, two stars. Oh my yog. Alright. Whenever your opponent casts a spell, they cast a random one of the same cost. This is not that bad, actually, for a Paladin Secret. This is kind of like Counterspell for two less mana. Because uh, with Counterspell, if people are casting a spell, they want to cast that spell because that spell is good. So this, you pay one mana to make their spell a lot less good. So if you've got a uh, something they want to, like if you got a mage and the mage wants to polymorph something, maybe instead of polymorphing something, it gets transformed. And maybe it's Consecrate and the Consecrate doesn't do anything. Or maybe it's Fireball and they Fireball their own face. So yeah. 
Oh my god, I think this is actually a pretty like when I say good for a paladin secret, I'm still saying uh two star, like high two stars. But that's because most paladin secrets are like low two to one star. So I think this is actually decent. Uh, Lothraxian the Redeemed. So, for the rest of the game, after you summon the Silver Hammer crew, give it the Vine Shield. So, yeah, uh, this is a four star card. So, five, five, four, five, a solid body. The effect is really good. Uh, I, I made this comparison in my written review. The um, impact of a Divine Shield is the difference between a one mana one one Mogu Cultist, which is a five, and an Argent Squire, which is a 69, for your hero power for the rest of the game. Your hero power, like everything it summons, gets 50 points. And that's an exaggeration because Arden Square is so good because it's on one, and like after one, it's it tapers off. But yeah, that's a Lothraxian here. You just get a lot of value with your hero power. So if you can use your hero power all the time, you'll eventually be able to whittle down the opponents. So like it's a long term play, but it's still a very good play. So as I said, high four star card. High XR Euro. Okay. If your deck has no neutral cards, gain Brush, Life, Steel, Taunt, and Divine Shield. So, this is uh, not going to be an arena. Just these cards aren't an arena. If it was, it'd be a one star card. Balloon Merchant. Uh, give your Silver Hammer recruits plus one attack and Divine Shield. So, four mana, three, five. That's fine. Silver Hammer recruits, you've got Day at the Fair to combo into this on curve. Later in the game, you've got uh, Stand Against Darkness or a Corrupted Day in the Fair to Corrupt into this. So this is, it feels kind of like, it, it's weird because I think this is a card that would work in like a Battlegrounds setting. Like, and I'm not sure Battlegrounds, if they're going to do Dude Synergy or anything like that for all the heroes. So, but it feel, it, this feels like a Battlegrounds card. So, okay, anyways. Uh, card itself, card is not that bad. The effect is really powerful if it hits. I'm not sure how much it's going to hit. So I would say that this is probably just like a low three-star card. Like, I'm, I'm waiting for when GBG comes back so you can play this into a muster for battle. Or sorry, muster for battle into this. That would be battle wouldn't play then. And then you get, uh, get to really upgrade your silver hand recruits. Carousel Griffin. Okay, okay. So, this is a six-star card. Shouldn't exist. All right. 5-5 five, five Divine Shield. This is, we had, uh, what's the name of the card? Uh, Dalaran Crusader was a good card. Dalaran Crusader was a good card in Arena. That was a neutral. That was a 5-4 Divine Shield. This is a 5-5 five, five Divine Shield, so it's better than that already without anything. Corrupt. Game plus three, plus three, and taunt. That's just, like, insane for a five-mana worth of value. Like, that's a card. You play 8-8 uh, eight, eight Divine Shield Taunt. You could play on turn 9, and that would be a perfectly fine card. In fact, Paladin has that with Light of Hope plus 8 health, which isn't always that useful. You usually just play it for the body, and that's like a super premium card. And this, with one Corrupt, you get a stupidly overpowered card. And without Corrupt, you still get a card that's probably a four, uh, easy 4-star card by itself. So yeah, this is a six-star card. This is one of those cards like you always pick. Just be like as long as you have stuff to trigger it, such as as I mentioned, Hammer of Naru. So six-six holy elemental with taunt, because of course you need the taunt. So I then you get a three-three weapon on it. Like anything that develops and removes is absolutely insane. Think about this. Think about this. Think about fire elemental. Fire elemental is a six mana, six five. That deals three damage. This is a six mana, six six, that deals three damage three times, and it has taunt. Like, think about that. Think about how insane that is. Think about like how good Fire Elemental is. Like, yeah. Like, there's, there's so much overpowered Paladin stuff out there that you kind of lose track of this. But when you think about it, and you think about how good Fire Elemental is, Fire Elemental is a six-star card on its own. And this is a better version of Fire Elemental. A significantly better version of Fire Elemental. Like, this might... Like, I, I didn't make the Fire Elemental comparison until right here. 
but this might be the best card in the set. I think the Warrior Pirate is still there, but this is like right up there. Like I, I knew this card was good, but I didn't actually realize how good it was until like, like it was so good that I just kind of ignored it because I knew it was insane, but I didn't actually like math out how good it is until I, I, I made the Fire Elemental comparison here. So yeah, this is like an easy six star card. Like you take this over literally everything else, especially because it's a six mana card that makes your corrupt stuff work. So yeah, like just completely, absolutely nuts. Finally, day at the fair. Carl knew he would someday regret that turkey leg. This Carl. I can't tell which one is George and which one is Carl here. So you got George and Carl here. I know. Uh, I, I'm not sure if this, uh, the text is similar. Because we got Snack Run here. One of those turkey legs that ate that the Silver Hammer crew. So I'm not sure if George got eaten by the corrupt turkey leg. Let me see. All right. So it looks like, if I'm looking at this right, this one is Carl, because Carl gets eaten by the corrupt turkey leg, which means this one is George. Okay, that works. Anyways, uh, three man, three three, summon three silver hammer recruits. We've seen that effect before. Desert hair, that's a fine card for paladin. Corrupt, summon five, that's good, but really, it's about this card synergizing with things like Carnival Barker, with things like uh, Balloon Merchant, with things like uh, Steward of Darkshire coming back in. So yeah, card itself is going to be a three star card, like. It's something you can play on curve, or it's something that you can play later on for the synergy. So, overall, Paladin, between these two cards, these are going to form like the backbone of Paladin. And then sometimes you're going to get Recruit Synergy. So, yeah, that's Paladin. All right, uh, next one up is going to be Priest, so I will see you guys then.